Hey what's happening, it's your boy Nizan, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to talk about how to deal with failure. Uh, failure is something that everyone goes through, whether it's in studies, in relationships, jobs and life in general. It can be something that can be seen as something very negative, something that can put people down, but it really, if you look at it carefully, it can be your greatest asset, it can be something that you can use to fuel yourself and lift yourself back up and reach even greater heights than you did before. So really, it's all about your perception, so let's go into it. So number one is to acknowledge it, acknowledge whatever setback you've suffered, acknowledge that, you know, this has happened to me, but it's okay, I'll move on and I will go even, I will move on and will find even a better way to come back more successful. Um, often like the main thing that I sort of think of when it comes to failure is not that I failed, it's more of this door was closed to me so that a better door can be opened to me. So. Have belief in the universe and you shall be rewarded with a greater opportunity and a greater situation in whatever case you're dealing with. And the way I think also is that if no one ever failed in their life then no one is ever going to push themselves to be better or to improve themselves. So failure is what's keeping the world driving, failure is what's keeping people hungry and failure is what's making people get back up stronger than before and be a better version of themselves. So if you're, if you're failing or if you have failed then it's just a chance for you to reforge yourself and to become an even better version of yourself. So take that opportunity with yourself and make sure that you can grow. So acknowledge it. Step two is to reflect. You want to reflect and you sort of want to analyze what your failure is and why that failure happened what kind of mindset were you in when that happened what kind of situation you was in your life when that happened so try and understand what it is that caused it whether it's something that was going on in your life or something that sort of might have distracted you or whether you wasn't putting enough work in or whether you're just distracted by something else so try and understand it try and find the source of it and note it down because Reflecting is like the main part, you need to really understand what it is that caused your failure. So once you finish reflecting, it's very important not to dwell or invest any more energy into it. Because what's done is done, what you can do now is the present tense and that's what's going to determine the future. So it's time for you to move on and go on to step three. Step three is to come up with a plan. So based on your reflection, based on acknowledging what your weakness is, what the failure was, you want to come up with a plan on regards to how you're going to tackle this, how you're going to move forward, and how you're going to have the best approach and mindset towards it. Because it all begins with the plan and your mindset towards the problem. Otherwise, it, any problem will always seem really difficult to resolve. But if you have the right mindset and the right plan, then everything becomes much more easy. And and number four, finally, is to execute your plan. So whatever plan you have put, make sure you execute it to the detail that you planned it, and you execute it with as much, much intent as you can. Put your whole heart and soul into it and put your energy into it and execute it. Just do it and you will see that your failure is no more a failure, rather it was a lesson. It was something that taught you something valuable. So those are the four ways to overcome failure or the four steps rather. It's really important to understand that failures are there to affect you in a positive manner. They're there to teach you a lesson. They're there to make you a better version of yourself. If you're going through something right now, then understand that better times are coming and understand that whatever failure or whatever setback you're going through life, it's just basically a door being closed because a better door is opening for you. So just believe in it, put your effort into reflecting and making a plan, execute it with your whole heart and intent and then just be happy. 
So yeah, so that's how I deal with failure. That's how I sort of overcome any setbacks that I face in life. I hope that video helped you. I hope it made you feel a bit more optimistic towards whatever situation you're dealing with. And yeah, so do follow me on Instagram just here and I will see you in the next video.